morning, my friends. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome! Look at my beautiful cup that my husband made me. Isn't that adorable? So, I'm going to read the topic now. The topic is, what is your definition of healthy after weight loss surgery? Has your perception of what healthy is changed since having weight loss surgery? Does healthy equal happy? Okay. So, I've got a few thoughts on this. First of all, I want to show you a few pictures of me that my brother gave me when I was in Dallas. And I forgot that I had them. I was looking through some pictures for my daughter. She needed some pictures, and I found this envelope. And it had about... I think three pictures of me because you know when you're bigger like that you don't want to be in pictures at least I didn't and so uh, I put them up on Facebook and I said they're a, a, bla a blast from my past so I'm going to show you those pictures now So in those pictures, I remember thinking in my mind and in my thoughts, I only had a dream, right? And, and, and what I thought and what I perceived, my perception of healthy was movement. I wrote things down. And these are not all the things, but these are a few things. Movement was one of them. I just wanted to be able to do what I felt like doing that day and doing it. Not thinking about, okay, if I go to that place, is there going to be a chair for me? Uh, if I go to an amusement park, is there going to be benches that fit my butt? Because a lot of the benches were not long enough. There goes that train again. Sorry, guys. But my butt was not long enough, or the chair was not long enough to really make my butt sit and feel comfortable. So my legs would go to sleep. It's just those little things. I didn't want to have to worry about if I was going to go somewhere and, and, and have to worry about ahead of time, ahead of time, ahead of time. You know what I'm talking about. I thought healthy meant shopping anywhere I wanted to, you know, shop at. If, you know, I didn't have to worry about if they were going to have plus sizes or not. I just walked in the store and got what I wanted. That was never possible for me at one time. I wanted to feel comfortable in this body. I wanted to just feel... Like, I could wear any gown I wanted. I know uh, nowadays I just wear <clears throat> com comfy moo-moos because I'm comfortable in big, comfortable moo-moos. But even back then, I didn't, I didn't have moo-moos that, that I was comfortable in. They had to be really, really large. Uh, uh, there was a catalog, Romans, and I would look in there to see if I could find a, 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 a comfortable moo-moo, that, one that would fit me loose because that was almost impossible to find. Um, uh, curling up on, a, on the couch or in my lazy boy chair. I didn't even know what that would feel like. I do now. <laughs> but, you know, I would see people curl up, and I'd look at them and go, Wow, that must be the healthiest feeling ever. <laughs> I know, I'm strange. Sorry. Playing with my children getting on the floor and playing with my kids or being able to chase after them or even putting them on my lap. I didn't have a lap. <laughs> I did not have a lap. My stomach was on my lap. I didn't have room for a child. Um, I see now uh, these girls that wrap their babies around them, their bodies. I only dreamed of that. I only dreamed of that. Um, that was something I saw a lot when I would go to Mexico because my husband was from Mexico. And... Uh, I remember he wrapped Sara, my oldest, in, in, in a child. That's what we call him, a child. And he had, her, he had her in his back. And I wanted that. And he tried, but the child didn't fit my body. It didn't even go around my stomach to do it. So, yeah, I remember that. So, you know, now, I have to, I have to, I try really hard not to think about all the things that I couldn't do because there's so many things that, you know, we say that we will never forget, and some people do. Uh, you know, I used to tell my sister, 
I'm sorry, guys. I used to tell my sister that, you know, to take those pictures because they're just going to be memories. And she'd say, no, I'll always be some, you know, somehow I'm going to be always big. No, you're not, Connie. And, you know, they are. They're just memories now. So I start my day every morning. I start my day being grateful, waking up and saying, thank you, God, for the life that I live today, for the body that I'm in today. And, you know, I always think ahead of time, what is the movement that I'm going to do the next day? Like, I know that after this, there's going to be some kind of movement for the day. If it's not going to go to the gym, it's going to be walking. If it's not going to be walking, it's going to be my elliptical in the back room or my jumping. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but, you know, I jump on it. Uh, and so those things bring me happy happiness. Why? Because it's not about me be uh, really those things. That's not a healthy thing that I think of. I think of the endorphins that come after the movement. Because the endorphins is what brings me joy. Exercise, this is, this is a, d a definition. Exercise equals endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. So that's what I look for. I look to move. Because not, not that it's going to be, I can't explain this, darn it. It's not that it's that the, that the that the movement is so much the joy, but it's what brings afterwards. The endorphins come after the movement, you know, and I feel joyful. And when I started feeling that way, I kept that up because, you know, I only dreamed about it. Uh, I wrote this little thought that I had in my mind. Those dreams and thoughts were for others, not for me. I never knew that I also could feel as healthy as I knew others were. As they were. They, I only, in my head, I thought everybody was happy because everybody was, you know, uh, small around me. There was very few big people around me uh, other than my sister. And we knew how our bodies were. We knew how trapped we felt. We would tell each other, you know. But, um, you know, movement is a medicine for creating change in a person's physical, emotional, and mental state. The body achieves what the mind only believes. You know, I believe it now. I believe that it, when, when I go to do my movement, I'm going to be content and happy. the day. You know, that's the way I want to start my day with some kind of movement. So, you know, the question is, what is your definition of health after weight loss surgery? It's the feeling that I get after my movement. It's the knowing that I can go into a, a store and buy uh, a size medium. They're, they're, they will have a size medium. Uh, they will have a size large for the bottom part of my body because <laughs> that's the bigger part. Um, has my perspective changed since weight loss surgery? Of course, because I don't think it's for somebody else anymore. I know that it was meant for me always. Uh does healthy equal happy? Well, I've got a quote. You tell me. It goes like this. If you have health, you probably will be happy. And if you have health and happiness, you have all the wealth you need, even if it is not all you want. First of all, health is an amazing thing to have. I knew what it was to get up and take a pill because my diabetes could go crazy, right? My diabetes would hit the 500s. I know that's really crazy, but it is. It, it used to hit the 500s. 500s, I would go into a sleep coma. I, would, I could fall asleep driving 
if I want, you know, it would be, there would be times where I would be so exhausted. I, you know, I just, I couldn't wait to get home. Thank God I didn't live that far from where I worked. Um, staying awake in the classroom was almost impossible sometimes, you know. Um, just, it was just horrific. I know what it is not to be in a healthy body. I know what it is to be in this body today and feel amazing. I know that health does, skinny does not equal health. I know that. I have had many skinny people that are very sick in my, in, 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 in my lifetime. You know, I, I knew many. I have friends, you know. And so that does, does, that does not equal health, you know. But I know that my mobility keeps me healthy. And in my mind, like I said, I used to think that it was for others. I know that it was for me, but I didn't know how to get to it. And today I know that staying on a plan keeps me happy. It keeps me mobile. It keeps me knowing that I can achieve more because I always want more. You know, I will repeat this. If you have health, you probably will be happy. Of course, I know many people that, you know, my mother died of cancer. Her brothers and sisters have died of cancer. And so if you have health, you probably will be happy. And if you have health and happiness, you have all the wealth, all the wealth that you'll ever need. So I may not be rich with material things, and my bank account may be overdraft most of the time, but I'm rich. I am blessed with richness. I'll end that with today that way. I love you guys, and I hope I answered the question. Let me know if I did. Let me know how you feel about, you know, health, and what's your perspective on it. I love you guys, and I'll see you when I see you next Sunday. Go out and be the best you that you know how to be, and forget about the rest. See ya.